2025 will be remembered as the year that China's tech industry changed the world. It first started with the launch of DeepSeekR1, China's latest AI tool that is completely open source and has disrupted the entire AI industry. But now China is building something so ambitious, it will literally change the future of how our planet functions. But here is the most amazing part. China's new energy project won't even be on planet Earth. That's right, China's latest groundbreaking project is a kilometer wide solar panel field in space. This revolutionary initiative will redefine how we think about energy, collecting power from the sun, uninterrupted by the constraints of weather or the planet's day-night cycle. And here's what makes this project so astonishing. It's being compared to putting a Three Gorges Dam in orbit. To give you some perspective, the Three Gorges Dam, located on China's Yangtze River, is the largest power plant in the world and generates an astonishing 100 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually. It's so massive that it has even slowed Earth's rotation by 0.6 microseconds. Now imagine taking that kind of energy production and scaling it to space. The potential is staggering. The energy collected from this orbiting array in just one year could match the total amount of oil that can be extracted from the entire Earth. This project isn't just an engineering marvel. It's a bold statement that the future of energy belongs to those who dare to innovate beyond the limits of our planet. As we've seen in industries like AI, electric vehicles, investments into Africa, 5G, telecommunications, and renewable technology, China's rapid advancements in areas overlooked by Western countries have repeatedly forced the United States to scramble for a response. Now, a new frontier has emerged space-based solar power stations. Internationally, these projects are being hailed as the Manhattan Project of the energy sector, a nod to the historic race led by Robert Oppenheimer to build the first nuclear bomb. Much like that pivotal effort which united the brightest minds to create an era-defining technology, this comparison highlights the monumental scale and transformative potential of space-based solar power. And make no mistake, this is no exaggeration. The revolution this technology could bring to global energy generation is truly that massive. In today's video, we're breaking down everything you need to know about the next great space race between the United States and China, one that promises to redefine the future of energy. Stay tuned, because this is going to change everything. But first, the production of these videos wouldn't be possible without our sponsors. And I wanna thank Private Internet Access for their support and highlight this important piece of tech I literally use every single day of my life. Whenever you connect to the internet on a public Wi-Fi network, at airports, coffee shops, or even at your own home, your data is at risk of being stolen. But a virtual private network, or VPN for short, is an app that hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. I'm constantly on the road for work, and I trust private internet access to help keep my most valuable data, including this very YouTube channel, safe and secure. But I also use PIA for my personal life. For example, Watching Netflix without a VPN is like purchasing a business class ticket and then being told you can only sit in economy. Sometimes your favorite TV shows or sporting events are blocked out due to your location, but simply turn on PIA and you can instantly switch your IP address to one of 91 countries in all 50 states, allowing you to gain access to websites and services available only in those locations. What I love most about PIA is that with one subscription, I can protect an unlimited number of devices at the same time. PIA is also the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads. Everyone, if you're in the market for a VPN, I hope you consider using PIA. Simply go to piavpn.com slash Cyrus to receive an incredible 83% off the retail price. And because you're my loyal subscriber, an additional four months of coverage will be credited to your account as well. Try it all risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And now let's get back to our story about China's new solar power station in space. Let's first address one of the biggest questions you might have right now. With the power station located in space and not physically connected to the power grid like a traditional energy source, how would China's new solar power station actually work? The concept involves launching a massive solar array into orbit piece by piece. Once fully assembled, this array would remain in a stationary position around the Earth, collecting uninterrupted solar energy. The power would then be transmitted back to Earth via microwaves. As surprising as it may sound, this isn't entirely new technology. Both NASA and the US Department of Energy have been researching space-based solar power since the 1970s. In fact, successful power transmission from space was first demonstrated as far back as 1975. 
2025. But as we've seen in other industries, China is taking concepts that originated in the West and ambitiously turning them into reality. Technologies like maglev trains and molten salt reactors, still largely theoretical in Western labs, are being implemented on a massive scale in China. This solar space station is no different. China isn't just dreaming about the future. It's actively testing and refining the technology needed to make it happen. In June 2021, construction began on China's first experimental space solar power station to evaluate the project's feasibility. By November 2023, researchers from Xi'an University of Electronic Science and Technology announced test results for the Chasing Sun project, which demonstrated world-leading advancements in microwave power transmission, beam collection efficiency, and power transfer efficiency. These tests confirm the practicality of scaling up this technology, with a fully operational station potentially achievable within the next 5 to 10 years. But of course, some politicians in Washington are already labeling this development a national security threat. Some critics have even gone as far as to compare it to the Death Star-style superweapon from the famous American movie Star Wars. Of course, China's new tech is nothing like this at all. Let's separate the facts from the fear mongering. The technology is completely safe. The microwaves used for power transmission aren't like the ones in your kitchen microwave. They operate at much lower power densities, around 23 to 100 watts per square meter at the receiving station. For context, natural sunlight at noon is about 1,000 watts per square meter. So standing in sunlight would generate more heating effects than standing under this beam. Birds, planes, and people are entirely safe from the system. The beam operates on precise frequencies that pass through the atmosphere with minimal interaction. These frequencies are similar to those already used for communication technologies, like your smartphone. The system simply cannot concentrate enough energy to be weaponized. It's physically impossible given the design. Trying to turn this beam into a weapon would be like attempting to start a fire with a flashlight. The beam is too spread out to cause harm. This isn't a science fiction death ray. It's a scientifically sound, well-studied technology that could help solve our biggest energy challenges. As we've proven, the real engineering hurdle is in safety. It's the cost of constructing such a station in space. It's ambitious, but the underlying physics and engineering principles are solid. To create this type of station requires massive financial and technological investments, and it has ignited a new kind of space race, this time between China and the United States. The two nations are approaching this challenge with starkly different development models. In China, the project has been committed through the central government's long-term strategic planning. Work is being carried out by state-owned organizations with one sole objective, to construct the solar station with no competing obligations or profit motives. These organizations have the full backing of the Chinese government, including access to whatever funding is necessary to get the job done. One critical component of the project is the development of a new generation of heavy reusable rockets. China's Long March 9, under development by the state-owned China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, has been designated as the primary launch vehicle for the solar station. The singular focus of this state-owned entity ensures that all efforts and resources are directed towards achieving this goal. But now let's contrast this approach with the American model. During the original space race with the Soviet Union, NASA was fully funded and backed by the US government with the singular objective of landing a man on the moon, no expense spared. Today, that model has shifted. Federal funding for NASA has been repeatedly cut, and more of its missions are being outsourced to private companies like Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, as well as defense contractors such as Lockheed Martin. The solar space race is no exception. While NASA may be involved in research and coordination, the reusable heavy rockets necessary for this mission are almost certain to be contracted out to private companies. Elon Musk's top role in Trump's administration is a clear conflict of interest and all but guarantees lucrative contracts will be given priority to SpaceX. Tesla and SpaceX are already major contractors of the federal government, receiving almost $16 billion. This reflects a broader trend where private corporations play increasingly central roles in projects that were once the domain of state agencies. This outsourcing comes with significant drawbacks. Unlike NASA or China's state-owned enterprises, which are mission-focused, private contractors are incentivized to maximize shareholder value and drive stock growth. The result? Inflated budgets, 
inefficiencies, and price gouging, hallmarks of the U.S. military industrial complex. This past year marked the seventh consecutive year that the Pentagon has failed its audit, unable to account where nearly a trillion dollars of taxpayer money was spent. The very same companies profiting from defense contracts and supplying weapons to the U.S. military and Ukraine are also deeply involved in space projects, raising questions about cost effectiveness and accountability. In stark contrast, China's centralized system demonstrates a capacity for unparalleled efficiency and focus. When China sets its sights on a goal, like constructing the world's largest high-speed rail network spanning over 45,000 kilometers, it mobilizes resources and expertise on a scale that leaves little room for failure. Ultimately, only time will tell which country will be the first to complete an operational solar space station. What is clear, however, is that this competition should be celebrated. Unlike military buildups or geopolitical brinkmanship, this race holds the potential to benefit humanity as a whole. By prioritizing advancements in clean energy over conflict, the United States and China can pave the way for a brighter, more sustainable future for our planet. But there's another reason why the U.S. and China are going to space. They've already dominated solar production on Earth. The U.S. used to have a commanding control over solar panel production as recently as 2008. But fast forward to today, and it's not even close. China is the world leader and in position to dominate the future of solar power. This advantage in solar energy cannot be understated, and this graph explains why. Solar now accounts for two-thirds of new electricity generating capacity globally. Even the biggest proponents of solar couldn't have predicted such a rapid adoption of the energy, and its adoption rate is consistently surpassing expectations. This once US-dominated industry, which is defining the future of energy, is now completely in control of Chinese manufacturers. Washington often blames China's dominance of the solar industry on what are routinely dubbed unfair trading practices. But that's just a comforting myth. The truth is that the transfer of industry leadership was a result of a lack of investment in domestic industries by the US and long-term planning by the Chinese government. The Chinese government was determined to transition their manufacturing from lower quality products towards being a leader in high-tech industries. In 2015, they launched the Made in China 2025 initiative to invest in future tech. Renewable energies and solar energy was no exception. Now it's 2025 and the results speak for themselves. They've unsurprisingly shown that investing in an industry actually pays off, a piece of advice that the United States desperately can learn from. The race for space-based solar power isn't just about energy. It's a battle for technological leadership and a blueprint for the future of global innovation. As China transforms ambitious ideas into reality, it demonstrates the undeniable value of focused investment and strategic planning. Meanwhile, the U.S. finds itself at a crossroads, grappling with inefficiencies and a privatized, profit-driven system. The stakes couldn't be higher. This isn't merely about who launches first, but about defining the rules of an emerging energy revolution. While the competition intensifies, one thing is clear. This race has the potential to unite rather than divide. By pushing the boundaries of what's possible, both nations can create advancements that ripple across the globe, solving critical energy challenges and inspiring a generation to think beyond Earth's limitations. The question is whether the U.S. will rise to the occasion or let this transformative opportunity slip into history, just as it did with solar manufacturing. But one thing I want you to realize is that wherever you look, China is changing the future with its tech industry. As I mentioned at the start of this video, 2025 will be remembered as the year that China's tech industry changed the world. And as always, you can count on this channel to bring you the latest updates and insights into all things China. Once again, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Private Internet Access, for their continued partnership. If you're in the market for a VPN, take advantage of today's offer and save 83% off the retail price, as doing so also helps our channel grow. Finally, if you're interested in learning more about China's DeepSeek R1, the AI tool that is literally changing the entire future of AI, click here to watch that video. As always, thank you all for your continued support, and I look forward to seeing you all in our next video soon.